If you watched our video last week, you now have a great understanding for assisted living and the most important things to look for when searching for a community. If you haven't had a chance to watch that video, I highly recommend you go back and watch it and you can find a link to that video in the description. One of the things that we talked about were the two types of assisted living, assisted living centers and assisted living homes. Today, we're gonna to be comparing the two and talking about the pros and cons to help you decide which is right for you. Hi everyone, Rob King from Valley Senior Advisors. Today we're gonna to be talking assisted living and the two types of assisted living. Both provide the same service but do so in very different ways. Let's first talk about assisted living centers. These are large communities and rent private apartments to their residents. Most are licensed for directed care to provide memory care services as needed. They also provide meal services and entertainment for their residents. Now let's talk about a few of the pros to assisted living centers. These communities are often owned by large corporations and have consistency in their policies and their operations. This can bring a level of comfort to the residents and their families. Because these are large communities, they offer the opportunity to socialize with a large network of people. If you consider yourself an extrovert, you may wanna consider assisted living centers. Also, they often offer more activities to meet a variety of preferences of their residents. A few cons to assisted living centers. They are known for having variable pricing, which means you may not be paying the same amount month to month. The price you pay is dependent on the services that you take advantage of in the month, and you may not know what you'll be paying until it's too late at the end of the month when the bill comes. Another potential con to assisted living centers is they have higher caregiver ratios relative to assisted living homes. Now this is more so a function of the size of the community. If there's a large community of 100 residents, they often can't offer the same caregiver ratios that you'll find in assisted living homes because it wouldn't be economical. They do make up for this with operations and technology, but the question is if it can adequately compensate for a lower caregiver ratio. One last potential con to assisted living centers is they are large communities and they can feel overwhelming to some residents, particularly those who require memory care. If this is the case, it might be a good idea to look into assisted living homes instead. That brings us to assisted living homes. These are small communities in a residential setting, typically licensed to care for up to 10 residents at a time. Instead of private apartments, residents rent private rooms in the community. Most are licensed for directed care, like assisted living centers, and can provide memory care services. They also provide meal services and entertainment. Now, some of the pros to assisted living homes are they generally have lower caregiver ratios. Because the homes are licensed for 10 residents at a time, typically there are two caregivers on site during the day and one on site at night. That's a five to one ratio during the day and a 10 to one ratio at night. You typically won't find this level of care in assisted living centers, so if you think you'd like more attention from caregivers, you may wanna look into assisted living homes. Because assisted living homes are smaller communities, you have a lot more say in what goes on in the communities. From meals to activities, the caregivers and managers are generally catering to what you like to make your day special. These communities are great for having flat rate pricing. What you see is what you get. Now on occasion, they may have market adjustments to their rates as costs increase, but you'll always be notified ahead of time and it will never be sprung on you month to month like you may find in assisted living centers. Now let's turn to a couple potential cons to assisted living homes. In assisted living homes, you rent private rooms, not private apartments like you do in assisted living centers. These rooms can range from shared rooms where you have a roommate all the way up to private rooms. You can also have shared bathrooms or private bathrooms. That all depends on what's available at the community and what your preferences are. If you're looking for assisted living homes and have a particular preference, you can always reach out to us and we can help you find a great room in the best home. We work with only the top communities in the Valley and because we have such great relationships with them, we know before anyone else what their availability is. And finally, a potential con is assisted living homes are small businesses. This means that you're likely to find a lot of variability between homes and what they offer. All assisted living communities, including assisted living homes, are regulated by the Arizona Department of Health Services. So there is a governmental body responsible for regulating and auditing these communities. It's something important to know that all assisted living homes are not created equal. 
If you'd like some help finding an assisted living home, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to help. All right, that's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. You can also hit the notification bell to be notified of when we post new videos. And finally, Valley Senior Advisors is committed to helping seniors in the Phoenix area find the best care. From independent living to assisted living to skilled nursing, we work with the best communities throughout the Valley and we love to help you find your next home. If we can help you, please give us a call. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.